okay so our today's topic is uh, introduction to gases and kinetics of gas okay different gas laws that we will uh, study in this session so we will understand what kinetic energy is and how it relates to the gases and temperature and we will describe the properties of a real and ideal gas and understand what absolute zero is and how to convert between kelvin and celsius temperature scales uh, and we will also learn to describe boyle's law charles law and gale lussac's law and then combined gas law which uh, which uh, include all these three laws and we will also learn how to describe uh, all these three gas laws relating to the temperature pressure and volume and we will be able to calculate unknown values using the equations derived from these laws as well as the combined gas law okay so first of all as we know there are uh, three states of matter solid liquid and gas actually there is a one more state that is known as plasma but it is not that well uh, known or that common of state so we generally uh, describe there are three uh, main states of matter right plasma is your fire or the sun and is also in state of plasma okay so but basically but mainly we have three uh, states of matter that is solid liquid and gas right in and these three is so there are two main factors that uh, determine your state of the matter one is the forces inter or intramolecular forces holding particle together so as we know when intramolecular forces is very strong very strong the, then the matter tends to become solid right because in solid your intramolecular bond bonding is very strong and if, if it is intermediate not that strong but not that loose then your matter tends to become liquid and when there is absolutely low, no or very low intramolecular forces or bonding then the matter tends to transform into gas okay and the second uh, factor which governs the state of the matter is your kinetic energy present in the matter okay the energy and object possesses due to its motion of the particle it is known as the kinetic energy and as we have uh, read in the heat uh, session session about the heat that this this kinetic energy is the factor that uh, causes temperature that causes temperature in anything okay so kinetic energy tends to pull particles apart okay whereas your uh, intramolecular forces or intermolecular forces tend to keep the things together whereas your kinetic energy tends to pull particles apart if 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 anything has more kinetic energy it will try to uh, move it will the particles in that matter try to move and will try to move away from each other so gas gas has the more kinetic energy than your liquid than your solid okay So gases have the higher kinetic energy because their particle moves a lot more than in a solid or liquid right because degree of freedom is more in solid they are more free to move there is not such a strong bond to keep or hold them in their place so the particles in the gaseous state is more mobile and possess more kinetic energy then as the temperature increases their gas particle move faster right uh, and thus kinetic energy increases so with the increase in temperature what happens these uh, gas particles they they already are moving very freely but th then when there is a rise in the temperature they tend to move more fast and thus and thus the kinetic energy of your gas increases 
okay so this is expand to fill any container that we know right A random motion so in gaseous state your particles or molecules gas molecules they have random motion they move in zigzag direction not a, not a, a particular order they do not have order they are disorderly and have no attraction between the two uh, particles or two molecules then gases are fluids like your liquid right gases are also fluid like liquid and have no attraction between one another between two molecules of the gas do not have attraction and gases have very low densities right because the particles are very far from one another they are very free to move and they try to fill the volume so they try to move away from one another right so that is why they have very low density whereas the solid have the highest of the highest density of all the three states then gases can be compressed right because uh, because we know that they have very low density there is a lot of empty space in the gas right there is a lot of empty space in the gas or between the molecules of the gas so they can be compressed it is easy for uh, it is easy to compress a gas as compared to your liquid and solid it is very difficult to compress a solid because the void or the uh, gap between two molecules is not that much as in comparison to the uh, your gaseous state right so gas can go compression gas can go undergo compression more easily then gases undergo diffusion and effusion across the barrier with small holes right so random motion because they have random motion so they can diffuse and effuse you know what diffuse is what is diffusion nachiket do you know what diffusion is a diffusion yeah diffusion it have you heard about osmosis osmosis yes, in sir. biology osmosis and biology is a chemistry osmosis and reverse osmosis yeah so diffusion is similar to that that particles will uh, because they have random motion and they they try to fill the volume that if a glass sir? of yeah uh, diffusion is that to uh, the uh, कंसेंट्रेशन अपने आप अपनी डेंसिटी रिड्यूस करेंगे सो दे ट्राई टू मूव फ्रॉम ए रीजन ऑफ हायर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टू रीजन ऑफ लोअर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन दैट इज नोन एज डिफ्यूजन मूवमेंट ऑफ दिस पार्टिकल्स फ्रॉम रीजन ऑफ हायर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टू लोअर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सो इन दिस डायग्राम इट इज बीइंग शोन दैट दिस जार और दिस बोतल कंटेन्स दिस ग्रीन पार्टिकल्स दिस ग्रीन गैसियस मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड इन दैट jar they have very high concentration they are packed closely so as soon as we open the uh, as soon as we open the bottle they will diffuse and move out to the outer surrounding to the surrounding where their concentration is less okay so their movement from bottle where their concentrate where concentration of these molecules were higher to the surrounding where these concentration were low is is the process or is an example of diffusion so now kinetic molecular theory of ideal gases okay ideal gases so particles in an ideal gas has no volume have elastic collision what do we mean by elastic collision that particles 
exchange energy with each other but total kinetic energy is conserved so there is no loss of kinetic energy between the collision in the form of heat so that is the assumption of ideal gas that particles do collide but their collision is elastic elastic means that there is no loss of the energy in the form of heat right so and are in contact random straight line motion okay they are in the contact with one another and they have random motion sorry not contact but they have a constant motion random motion and a straight line motion unless they they are they move in the straight line unless they collide with other molecules then they change their path okay and don't attract or repel each other is zero percent zero gravity is zero intermolecular intramolecular force between the particles so wo effect nahi karte ek dusre ko not attract neither repel the molecules of an ideal gas this is the assumption of the ideal gas and have an average kinetic energy directly related to the temperature right temperature is directly is related to your motion and it is directly uh, and it is equal to your kinetic energy right so more the kinetic energy more there will be motion of particles and more will be their temperature okay whereas in real gas in real gas have their own volume hai na aisa to hota nahi ki jo atoms hai molecules hai unko koi volume nahi hoga in real gas particles do have their own volume and they attract each other there is intermolecular forces getting my point aapke uske beech mein kya hoga thode bahut attraction although it is in gaseous state and there uh, although they are in gaseous state but still in the real gases there will be some attraction or yeah there will be some attraction very little amount okay whereas in your ideal gas there will be no attraction or repulsion and gaseous behavior is most ideal at low pressure and high temperature when they are not uh, coming in close contact when they are not closing on to one another when their concentration is very low then your gas will behave uh, closer to your ideal gas okay so uh, stp is your standard temperature and pressure at standard temperature and pressure what is standard temperature standard temperature is we will see so what is standard pressure it is uh, atomis, atmospheric pressure is your standard pressure right and 27 degree celsius or 43 i think 27 degree celsius is your uh, standard temperature so at standard or room temperature at standard temperature and pressure molecules of the Sir? इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्सेज एंड वॉल्यूम इन सिग्निफिकेंट प्रेशर में क्या होगा कि जो the molecules of these gases are very far from each other so in the distance so their distance between two particles is large so there will there is negligible or almost zero intermo, intermolecular attraction kyunki dur dur honge and volume itne chote honge wo in beech mein to zyada tar empty space hoga agar jitne dur dur honge the more the less concentration they have the less the more space they will have in between right so उनके बीच में स्पेस ज्यादा होगा उनकी कंसंट्रेशन कम होगी सो देयर वॉल्यूम विल ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल टू नेगलिजिबल ओके और इनसिग्निफिकेंट सो अजम्पशंस ऑफ आइडियल गैस आर वैलिड अंडर नॉर्मल टेंपरेचर प्रेशर कंडीशन बट एट हाई प्रेशर हाई प्रेशर में क्या होगा उसको प्रेशर हाई प्रेशर अगर उनको पास नहीं आए इफ वी ब्रिंग दीज मॉलिक्यूल्स क्लोजर टू ईच अदर बाय अप्लाइंग हाई प्रेशर gas molecules are pushed closer together and their interaction with each other becomes more significant due to volume uska jab pass lenge to their volume will decrease aur wo the molecules will come come more closer to each other so unke aapas mein interaction bhi increase kar jayegi and uh, thodi intermolecular forces bhi they uh, become significant okay 
एट लो टेम्परेचर लो टेम्परेचर में भी क्या होता है आपका मोशन टेम्परेचर कम होना स्टार्ट हो जाता है सिगुड होना चाहिए स्टार्ट हो जाती है देट अगेन ट्राई टेंस टू मूव क्लोजर टू वन अनदर ओके गैस मॉलिक्यूल्स मूव स्लोअर ड्यू टू कनेटिक एनर्जी एंड इंटर मॉलिकुलर फोर्सेज आर नो लॉन्गर नेग्लिजिबल so we know these terms because we are going to use this pressure temperature volume in our uh, isotherm in our thermodynamics and in our gas laws so firstly let us go through these basic terms so as we know pressure is forced upon area so out of these three which will uh, which will have most pressure if we apply the same weight in these three ऑब्जेक्ट्स, ओके, एक ही एक ही आदमी इन तीनों चीजों को पहनता है सो इन विच केस द प्रेशर विल बी मैक्सिमम द फर्स्ट वन द हील्स वुड हैव मैक्सिमम प्रेशर आई थिंक या सो व्हाट इज एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर द गैस मॉलिक्यूल्स इन द एटमोस्फेयर आर पुल्ड टुवर्ड्स अर्थ ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी एक्सर्टिंग प्रेशर राइट तो जो आपकी ग्रेविटी है वो गैस मॉलिक्यूल्स को भी खींचेगी एंड द द प्रेशर दिस प्रेशर ऑफ एटमोस्फेयर एट दिस ही सरफेस इज नोन एज योर एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर एज वी बिकॉज द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ द गैस इज मोर नियर द सरफेस एंड एज वी मूव as the elevation increases or as we move uh, in the upward direction we know that density of the gas uh, or the air decreases right so atmospheric pressure also decreases as we move uh, in the upward direction this is also one of the reason why uh, it becomes harder to breathe as we uh, as we move in the high altitude areas right wahan pe oxygen wagera ke वहाँ आप ज़्यादा दौड़ जाओ इफ यू रन ऑल डू सम एग्जॉस्टिंग एक्टिविटी यू विल यू विल नीड ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर बिकॉज द डेंसिटी ऑफ द एयर इज वेरी लो देयर सो यू विल नॉट यू विल यू विल नॉट गेट सफिशेंट अमाउंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इफ यू डू सम एग्जॉस्टिंग एक्टिविटी ओके so barometer is measures the atmospheric pressure okay barometer is a device that is used to measure the atmospheric pressure okay mercury barometer you can see in net this tube mercury is filled and a scale is placed or scale is set uh, nearby to to note the rise and decrease of the this mercury bar in this vacuum okay so if more atmospheric pressure is there so what will happen that atmospheric pressure or that gas will push this mercury will push this mercury and what will happen the rise of the mercury in this bar will be more it will have more reading right and if as we move in the regions where atmospheric pressure is less what happen this atmospheric pressure will be less and the height of the mercury will drop inside this tube okay so this barometer is used to uh, measure the pressure atmospheric pressure so at standard atmospheric pressure sap uh how many kilo pascal is your one standard atmospheric pressure it is equal to 101.325 kilo pascal and what is pascal pascal is newton per mm newton per meter square is your pascal right newton per meter square is your pascal and in one atmospheric pressure or in one bar you will have 101.325 kilo pascal okay it is equal to one atmosphere and it is equal to 760 mm of mercury okay so at one atmospheric pressure the height of the mercury 
So the rise of mercury in this uh, tube will be 70 mm. Okay, that's how high it would rise in the tube in this vacuum tube in the presence of one atmospheric pressure 760 mm high. Okay, then comes your standard temperature. Standard atmospheric pressure, one atmospheric pressure. In SI terms, it is 101.325 kilopascal. Then comes your standard temperature and pressure. So standard temperature is zero degrees Celsius. Okay, not uh, not uh, 27. Not your your standard temperature is not your room temperature. Okay, your standard temperature is zero degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin. And whereas your standard pressure is one atmospheric pressure and 101.325 kilopascal it these are the SI unit your Kelvin and kilopascal so always use absolute temperature absolute temperature means Kelvin okay when working with gases when we are working with gases we will use Kelvin scale to measure the temperature this scale is also known as or the temperature in te Kelvin is also known as absolute temperature. So what is the relationship between Kelvin and Celsius? Your Celsius is Kelvin minus 273, right? So if Kelvin is zero, zero Kelvin means absolute zero temperature. And as we know that we cannot go below this temperature. So zero degree Kelvin means minus 273 degrees Celsius. So we cannot go below minus 273 degrees Celsius. Okay. So Kelvin is your degree Celsius plus 273. Getting a point. So zero degree Celsius means 273 degree Kelvin. Scottish physicist Lord Kelvin suggested that minus 273 degrees Celsius or zero Kelvin was the temperature at which the motion of particles within a gas approaches zero and thus so does the volume. Okay, so Kelvin ne kya wala ki aap minus 273 degrees Celsius pe or zero Kelvin pe absolute zero temperature is called zero Kelvin pe aapka jo bhi motion hoga aapke gases ka that will cease to exist not even vibration will be there. And then your volume will be zero. Jayega. So, not everything freezes at zero degree Celsius. So, you Kelvin ko absolute bolte ho? because theoretically, at zero degree Kelvin, all the motion, all type of motion will cease to exist, right? Or and, and everything will freeze. So, that, that is why theoretic, it is the theoretical absolute zero or th theoretical. Uh, zero temperature okay so that is why Kelvin or zero degree Kelvin is known as your absolute that is why Kelvin scale is known as your absolute scale because at zero degree Kelvin there will be no uh, motion no kinetic energy okay and everything will freeze Okay, so not everything freezes at zero degree Celsius, but for all substances, motion stops at zero degree Kelvin. And it does eliminate the use of negative values for temperature, right? After zero, zero, so you cannot go beyond zero. So all the possible values of temperature that you will encounter or you can have will be positive value. Whereas if you use degree Celsius, so you have minus temperature, you have minus 4 degree Celsius, minus 20 degree Celsius. This. But in the Kelvin, you will only have to deal with the positive uh, temperature, positive value of the temperature. Okay. So your degree, zero degree Celsius would be. 273 degree Kelvin and 100 degree Celsius would be 373 degrees Kelvin and 25 degree Celsius would be 
how much 25 degree celsius would be in kelvin let's see how many kelvin will be equal to 25 degree celsius नचिकेत आवाज आ रही है मेरी यस सर आ रही है सो बताओ मुझे टेल मी 25 डिग्री सेल्सियस वुड बी इक्वल टू हाउ मेनी केल्विन्स 273 प्लस 25 आई थिंक 298 298 ओके ओके सो दैट्स हाउ यू गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट so now comes your we uh, we are done with the basic terminologies that we are that we are going to use in the further session so our next topic starts that is the gas laws so there are basically three gas laws and then there is a combined gas law okay so first law is your boyle's law imagine that you hold the tip of a syringe on the tip of your finger so no gas can escape okay now push down on the plunger of the syringe what happens to the volume in the syringe what happens to the pressure the gas is exerting in the syringe kya hoga so volume will be there will be no change in volume or there will uh, yeah if there is a gas there will be change in volume in the uh, in this range the volume will decrease but pressure will all but pressure will increase if we do not let the gas escape through the needle of this range okay if we close the escape route by uh, by placing our finger then what will happen and we uh, we push the plunger the volume will decrease and the pressure will increase right so boyle's law states that decreasing volume increases the collisions and increase pressure okay so uh, so suppose or consider a, or imagine a beaker closed beaker with a movable uh, movable plunger on top of it and if you move the plunger down or or in other uh, words if you uh, if you try to reduce the volume if you reduce the volume the atoms or molecules of the gas will come closer to each other and they will start interacting more rapidly uh, more frequently right so they will exert more pressure they will exert now more pressure because there is now more frequent collisions okay so you can see through this diagram that on the left hand side you have got volume equal to 1 liter and pressure equal to 100 mm of mercury in barometer 100 mm of mercury but as we are uh, pushing the plunger down and uh, reducing the volume so volume is reduced to half of its original volume that is half of the liter then your pressure will increase to double your pressure will double 200 mm of mercury okay so what does it tell us it tell us that product of your volume and pressure is going to be constant okay product of volume and pressure is going to be constant so if your pressure is increasing if your volume is decreasing your pressure is increasing and if your volume is increasing your pressure is decreasing so the pressure and volume of a gas are inversely proportional to one another by inverse by inversely proportional means as one increases the other decreases and vice versa so if pressure increases volume decreases if volume increases then your pressure decreases okay so this is how the graph between pressure and volume is going to look like you can see through this graph that as the volume is increasing your pressure is decreasing but not with the 
constant slope there it is a curve if it had a constant slope means if the rate of change of uh, if the rate of change of pressure with respect to the volume was constant then it would have been a straight line so boyle's law lead to the mathematical expression so in this in this we will assume that temperature is kept is kept constant so when temperature is kept constant then the boyle's law becomes per multiplication of or product of uh, your pressure and volume will will remain constant okay so initial stage the product is equal to the or the multiplication of uh, pressure and volume at the first stage is going to be equal to the product of uh, pressure and volume at the second stage okay so it is going to remain constant okay so you can do this by your own very simple a weather balloon with a volume of 2000 liter at a pressure of 96.3 kilopascal rises to an altitude of 1000 meter where the atmospheric pressure is measured to be 60.8 kilopascal so your pressure decreases by by how much amount by 5.8 5.5 right by uh, by 5.5 kilopascal okay so as you are moving uh, uh, in the upward direction by the thousand meter the drop in the pressure is 5.5 kilopascal assuming there is no change in temperature or the amount of gas calculate whether uh, calculate the weather balloons final volume so its final volume kya hoga you just multiply initial volume 2000 with initial uh, pressure and uh, equalize that to the volume of uh, sorry pressure at the final stage multiply by the volume at the final stage so when you uh, simplify that or when you solve that equation you will get your balloons final volume okay now comes your charles law so imagine that you put a balloon filled with a gas in a liquid nitrogen right liquid nitrogen freezes at anything you 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 may know okay so what is happening to the temperature of gas in the balloon what happen agar aapne kisi balloon mein aapne liquid nitrogen dala temperature ko kya hoga what will happen to the volume of the balloon उसके बैलून को क्या होगा तो जैसे मैंने कहा लिक्विड नाइट्रोजन फ्रीज कर देती है आपका तो टेम्परेचर डिक्रीज करेगा तो तो पूरा का पूरा जो गैस है उसको सिकोड़ के कम कर देगी तो आपका वॉल्यूम बैलून क्या हो जाएगा पूरा श्रिंक कर जाएगा है ना सो दिस इज इफ यू दिस इज दलून इफ यू इंट्रोड्यूस इज लिक्विड नाइट्रोजन इट विल श्रिंक वाई बिकॉज उसने फ्रीज कर दी अंदर गैस ही फ्रीज कर दी फ्रीज कर दी मीन्स कंडेंस कर दी गैस फ्रीज टेम्परेचर गिराने पे एक दूसरे के पास क्लोज क्लोज आ जाएंगे आपके एटम और मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ योर गैस एंड योर बैलून विल श्रेक सो चार्ल्स लॉ स्टेट्स दैट द वॉल्यूम एंड एब्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर के इन कैलविन ऑफ ए गैस आर डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू आर डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल ओके so at constant mass mass should be constant hum se nikal le rahe hain na aur dal rahe hain mass should be constant and pressure should be constant pressure bhi hum change nahi kar rahe so us case mein kya hoga agar aapka temperature agar aapka badh raha hai to aapka volume bhi badh jayega agar aapka temperature kam ho raha hai to aapka volume bhi ghat jayega okay so the graph would be straight line as the temperature is increasing your volume is also increasing but as the temperature is decreasing your volume will also decrease so charles law so 
so how does this picture demonstrate the charles law in the first beaker we have gas uh, gas molecules or gas uh, enclosed in this beaker and on top of it we have a plunger or a piston right so we have attached a thermometer that is uh, reading its temperature of this beaker and we are increasing the temperature by the burner so because the temperature is increasing what will happen it will try the gas will try to expand right and piston will move up piston will move up and so aapne jaise jaise aapne uska temperature aur badhaya aapne aag aur matlab aur garam kar diya apne temperature aur badhaya jaise jaise iska temperature badh raha hai iska volume bhi badh jayega piston aapke upar upar lift ho jayega aur volume badh jayega so your temperature and volume are डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल तो जैसे जैसे टेम्परेचर बढ़ेगा आपका वॉल्यूम बढ़ेगा जैसे टेम्परेचर गिरेगा आपका वॉल्यूम भी घट जाएगा ओके चार्ल्स लॉ लीड टू दी मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन एज्यूमिंग प्रेशर रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट ठीक है हम एज्यूम कर रहे हैं प्रेशर रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट एंड मास इज ऑल्सो रिमेनिंग कॉन्स्टेंट सो वी वन बाय टी वन हाउ हाउ इट इज लाइक दिस बिकॉज v is directly proportional to t so if you uh, move t from the right hand side to the left hand side it will become v by t uh, equal to constant v by t equal to constant right so v1 by t1 is going to be v2 by t2 right at initial when v1 is volume at initial stage t1 is temperature at initial stage v2 is volume at uh, final stage and t2 is uh, temperature at final stage okay so the birthday balloon is filled to a volume of 1.5 liter of helium gas in a air conditioned room at 293 degree kelvin room temperature jo ki hai 250 degree celsius that is equal to 293 degree kelvin the balloon is taken outdoors on a warm day where the volume expand to 1.55 liter so, अंदर उसका वॉल्यूम था 1.5 लीटर जैसे उस बैलून को बाहर लेके चले गए थोड़ी गर्मी में उसका क्या हो गया वॉल्यूम एक्सपेंड कर गया है ना प्रेशर इज कांस्टेंट प्रेशर इज कांस्टेंट आइदर ऑन द इनसाइड और द आउटसाइड अज्यूमिंग द प्रेशर एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ गैस रिमेंस कांस्टेंट व्हाट इज द एयर टेंपरेचर आउटसाइड द आउटसाइड इन द सेल्सियस तो क्या होगा आपका बाहर जा रहे हो आपका बैलून एक्सपेंड कर रहा है क्यों कर रहा है क्योंकि वहां टेंपरेचर ज्यादा था ठीक है सो v1 by t1 v1 is your 1.5 t1 is 293 degree so 1.5 divided by 293 degree equal to uh, 1.55 divided by temperature jab nikalenge that is going to be t2 you solve that you will get the value of t2 then comes the third uh, law third gas law that is gas lussac gas lussac law so Imagine you have a balloon inside a container that ensures it has a fixed volume. ठीक है तो एक बैलून है किसी कंटेनर में तो कंटेनर में तो उससे ज्यादा एक्सपेंड कर नहीं सकता वो तो वो क्या इंश्योर कर रहा है कि बैलून का क्या है फिक्स्ड वॉल्यूम यू हीट द बैलून आपने बैलून को क्या करना हीट करना स्टार्ट कर दिया बट वो एक्सपेंड नहीं कर सकता क्यों क्योंकि बिग कर के अंदर पैक है ओके तो उसके वॉल्यूम कांस्टेंट रख दिया तो अब टेंपरेचर नाउ यू आर इंक्रीजिंग द टेंपरेचर व्हाट विल हैपन प्रेशर विल इंक्रीज सो विद इंक्रीज इन टेंपरेचर pressure will increase right but temperature but volume will not increase because uh, there is a container so when your temperature becomes very large then what will happen it will burst it will burst the cylinder okay so gas lussac law state that pressure and absolute temperature of a gas are jab hum absolute temperature ki baat karenge means temperature in kelvin right so the pressure and absolute temperature of a gas are directly proportional as temperature rises so does the pressure at constant mass and volume so here assumption again mana volume bhi constant hai aur mass bhi constant hai so at constant mass and volume as we rise the temperature pressure of the gas will also increases right so mathematically gas lussac's law can also be written as P1 by T1 equal to P2 by T2, where P1 is pressure at initial stage, T1 is the temperature at initial stage, and P2 is pressure at final stage or second stage, and T2 is the temperature at final or second stage. Okay. 
okay so uh, the pressure of the oxygen gas inside a canister with a fixed volume is 5 atmospheric pressure okay so a fixed volume a canister hai uske andar oxygen bhari hai iska volume kitna hai 5 jiska pressure kitna hai uh, 5 atmospheric pressure is pressure pe wo kya ek gas bhari hai kisi canister ke andar ab canister hai to wo that that will have a fixed volume right और टेम्परेचर कितना है 15 डिग्री सेल्सियस व्हाट इज द प्रेशर ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन गैस इनसाइड द कैनिस्टर इफ द टेंपरेचर चेंजेस टू 263 डिग्री केल्विन तो आपका क्या आ गया टेंपरेचर घट गया टेंपरेचर क्या हो गया घट गया तो आपका प्रेशर क्या होगा ये पूछ रहा है व्हाट विल बी द प्रेशर प्रेशर विल आल्सो डिक्रीजेस सो यू यूज दिस देन यू कैन गेट द अह pressure that you will get after decreasing the temperature then comes your combined gas law by combining all three all these three laws that is boyle's law charles law and gas lussac's law the following equation can be derived right p1 v1 divided by t1 you see p1 divided by t1 and v1 divided by t1 so p1 v1 divided by t1 is equal to p2 v2 divided by t2 this is known as combined gas law okay so a gas occupies uh, we can do this no problem so let us see the initial volume of a gas is 6 liter and its final volume is 3 liter so volume is decreasing right volume is decreasing find out the final pressure of the gas such that the initial temperature is 273 uh, kelvin while the final temperature is 200 हंड्रेड कैलविन तो क्या रहा है उसका वॉल्यूम भी घटाया जा रहा है वॉल्यूम हाफ करा जा रहा है और टेम्परेचर भी घटाया जा रहा है वॉल्यूम घट वॉल्यूम घटेगा तो प्रेशर बढ़ेगा है ना वॉल्यूम घटेगा आपका प्रेशर बढ़ेगा बट अगर टेम्परेचर घटेगा तो आपका प्रेशर घट जाएगा तो वो कंपनसेट कर रहा है तो टेम्परेचर में कम होने से आपका वॉल्यूम भी घटेगा ओके तो लेट अस सी मोर ओवर ट्वेंटी फाइव किलो पासकल इज द इनिशियल प्रेशर तो इनिशियल प्रेशर कितना है आपका ट्वेंटी फाइव किलो पासकल तो हमने क्या हमने फाइंड आउट क्या करना है हमने करना है फाइनल प्रेशर ऑफ द गैस सो ये हमारे पास सारी चीज़ें हैं पी वन वी वन टी वन पी टू हमने फाइंड आउट करना है वी हैव बी टू एंड टी टू सो कम्बाइंड गैस को आप लगाइए एंड यू विल गेट दी वैल्यू फॉर फाइनल प्रेशर दैट इज पी टू ओके so this that's all that's it for today this is the basic introduction of you are for getting the general idea of the gas laws okay getting my point